Hello everyone and welcome to another Central Drugs webinar. Uh, we appreciate you being here and we really appreciate our intern Hill Kim putting this together for us. This Today's webinar is, Is Weight Gain Inevitable with Age? And I think Hill is going to show us that it's not inevitable, but you've really got to take action on it. So Hill is uh, has been with us for a few weeks. She's a PharmD candidate uh, from Western University of Health Sciences, and she is expected to graduate in 2015. Hyo is from South Korea. That's correct. And has been uh, has been here in the United States since 1995, but loves to travel. You just got back from a trip from Japan and uh, Mexico, and where were the other places that oh, you visited? Oh, it was China and uh, Korea. China and Korea. Not Mexico. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Well, thanks for putting this together, Hyo. And uh, let's let's just get started. So, is weight gain inevitable with age? Tell us. Start off by telling us why do we gain weight when we age? Sure. First, I'll discuss why we gain weight with age. And there are several reasons, but I'm going to discuss about, discuss about three main reasons today. And the first is metabolism and hormone changes. We all know body produces less hormone, including estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone, starting as early as in 30s. Next is losing muscle, which is called sarcopenia. According to the study, after age of 45, men lose about 3 pounds and women lose about 2 pounds of muscle every year. That does not sound good. I wish, I wish that didn't happen. No, and the last reason will be life and diastyle changes. We tend to have less activity due to many reasons, including we have less energy as we age or some people experience joint pain, which prevents from prevents them from moving more, which is less activity. Okay, next we are gonna take a look at uh, where we see like uh, body changes as we gain weight. And as you can see from picture, there are more fat stories in belly, which leads to excess visceral fat. The visceral fat does not stay in your skin area, and as you can see from the picture, it affects your internal organ too. So I can see that a lot of that visceral fat is just surrounding those organs. It just kind of grows, and you get that spare tire look uh, that a lot of people have as they age. That's right. So let's take a look at more closer look at visceral fat. It is a deep fat around your inner organs. And how can we know if you have or if we have visceral fat? The easiest way is just look at your belly. And if you have a larger belly, that means you have more visceral fat. That makes sense. Okay. Why is visceral fat important? Because it leads to many serious health conditions, including diabetes, also stroke, heart attack, or hypertension. And it also increases the risk of dementia. And it has a direct increased risk of low back pain because people gain more weight in their belly and gives more stress to their low back. Yeah, all of those are interesting and, and obvious to me. The diabetes, the hypertension, the lower back pain. Uh, and the really interesting one is that increased risk of dementia. That's, that's fascinating that visceral fat can increase your risk of dementia. Yes, that's correct because uh, metabolic abnormalities may harm the may harm brain also why fat tissues cause inflammation which is also harmful for your harmful to your brain that's why it can lead to dementia i see okay so let's take a look why we try so far to lose weight um most of the time, we try many different ways, including one food diet. Sometimes we follow famous diet plans, or we try not eating. We also try diet pills or even diet drinks. And we also have many challenges. If you can take a look at the next slide, we all live busy lifestyle and it's full of stress which is leading to unhealthy eating habits because we tend to find fast food, which is including sugar craving, and we have a hard time controlling our appetite. And as I mentioned, we try many different ways, but 
most of them may be unsuccessful. And they just don't work. So today I'm going to talk about five small changes for healthy life and big weight changes. Okay, the first most common problem people experience is lack of energy and uncontrolled appetite. The answer to this problem is very simple. We can just change to healthy eating, which um, includes the choosing rice snacks, which is not or uh, keep your track of your snacks, which is very helpful because you know what you've been eating. And to help that, you can use your smartphone apps, including MyFitnessPal or MyFoodDiary, and there are many more out there. Yeah, we live in a time when it's never been easier to keep track of the food that you're eating and how it affects your health. So use those smartphone uh, apps or, the, or computer applications and, and uh uh, make use of those because they're helpful. That's right. And for the sugar craving, I advise to avoid it instead of facing it. So try not buy them while you are at market. Mm. That may be easier for you than um, once you buy it, it's hard to resist it. Mm. Okay, I also uh, like to uh, advise that even though it says low fat, it they can make you gain weight. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, and the next problem we often face is we are too busy. We are living busy, very busy life. But the answer to the question is also easy because there is a small changes you can make in the daily life. It is very important that you eat breakfast to right. And I know it's hard to prepare breakfast every morning. So I'm going to introduce two simple recipes you can use which is very good nutrition and be very fulfilling. So the first recipe is called detox juice. It has a lot of fibers. And the second recipe will be tofu shake, which Mm. is also tofu smoothie. So let's take a look at the detox juice first. It's very easy to make. You just need to have cabbage, tomatoes, broccoli, carrots, apple, and banana. First, you just wash all vegetables, apples, and um, cut into pieces. Bring water to boil before you put in vegetable. And you put all the vegetable in a pot and just boil for 15 to 20 minutes. After you're cooling the veggie to room temperature, You can peel the skins, then uh, put vegetable, apple, and banana all together in a blender and just mix it. And you can store in a refrigerator for about a week and you can enjoy for a week. Very good. And this is a great antioxidant juice, uh, a detox juice. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And next we have the Next to will be tofu smoothie, which is even more simpler to make. You just need to have tofu, banana, and plain yogurt and a milk. You just mix all ingredients in a blender. And that's it. You can just refrigerate and enjoy for three to four days. Yeah, kids would like this. Yes, it tastes very good. I made it for myself and been eating it for about a week. I, I think it's really good for your weight uh, management and for your energy. And it's a good source of your protein, too. Great. And um, as we mentioned earlier, we have low metabolism and less activities in our daily living, which is obviously leading to weight gain. And answer to this question will be building muscle. As I mentioned, we lose muscles as we age, but... It's easy because you can exercise at home. You can access these videos on YouTube. As long as as you have internet access, you can invest a day of uh, an hour per day. And it's going to help to build your muscle, which will be uh, leading to more calorie burning in your body. So if you're like me and you're really not excited about losing uh, two or three pounds of muscle each year after I turn 45, uh, you really got to make a commitment to exercising several times a week, if not every day. So, but it's not inevitable to lose that muscle mass. It's, it's something that you can 
take charge of? Sure. Yeah, and you can find various videos on YouTube, so you can start at your house. Right. Okay. The next problem will be nutrients. Nutrient deficiency during diet. People people often focus not eating, so they forget about taking correct diet supplement. Unless you uh, fill your body with correct nutrient, it's going to uh, start your body metabolism and try to store more energy, which can lead to more fat. So it is important to take correct nutrient um, as along with your diet. And according to the study, the common deficiency in popular diet includes these five um, nutri nutrients, which includes vitamin B6, vitamin D, vitamin E, chromium, and iodine. And now I'm going to take a look at closer look to each nutrient and explain why they are important in our diet. So just to clarify, um, when you say these are common deficiencies in popular diets, is this sort of an American diet that um, people are off that we're looking at where they're deficient in these vitamins uh, and minerals in an American diet usually? Oh, sure. I mean, uh, diet when they're trying to lose weight. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got you. So first, we are going to take a look at vitamin B6, which is function has the in amino acid metabolism, gluconeogenesis, means breaking down of blood sugar in your body and lipid metabolism, which is a fat metabolism. And if you are deficient in B6, you have a severe dermatitis, which is skin inflammation, or you can have a lip ulceration. Mm. And you can find vitamin C in poultry, fish, and organ meats, or potatoes, or fruits. Or you can take a um, vitamin B6 supplement, which can be found which can be found at your local pharmacy store. Okay. Okay, next is vitamin D, which is important in bone health, which protects you against the cancer, and which is also helps in weight loss. If you are deficient in vitamin D, you can have osteomalacia, which is a bone pain and muscle weakness, or rickets, which you can see from the picture. You have uh, abnormality of your bone and leg muscles. You can find vitamin D in fatty fish, which includes salmon or tuna, or you can um, find in fish liver oil. This also can be found in your nutrition supplement. And the recommendation per day is 600 international units. Next is vitamin E, which is an antioxidant which we all know antioxidant helps in anti-aging and cancer prevention. This would be a good pairing with that um, antioxidant shake. Right? That's the detox right, shake. yeah, uh -huh. which can be, which is helpful for your weight loss and anti-aging. And the deficiency will be, will lead to neuropathy, which is abnormality in your nerves. And you can have um, tinglingness. Or, or it can lead to skeletal myopathy, which is abnormality in your muscle, or retinopathy, which is abnormality in your eye, or impairment of your immune response. So your immune will be uh, less active if you don't have enough vitamin E. You can find this easily in nuts, seed, or vegetable oils, or you can also purchase a vitamin E supplement. Next will be chromium, which is important because it enhances the action of insulin and glucose tolerance factor, and it also plays an important in plays an important role in um, carbohydrate, fat, and protein metabolism. If you don't have enough chromium, it leads to deficiency, which includes impairment of glucose tolerance, which is related to diabetes. You can find chromium in meat, whole grain products, some fruits or vegetables, including grapefruits or broccoli. And recommendation for male will be 35 microgram and the female will be 25 microgram. Last will be iodine, which is an essential component of thyroid hormone. And thy thyroid hormone plays important role in protein synthesis, enzymic activity, and critical determinant 
of metabolic activity. So it is important that you take your iodine. And if you don't have enough iodine, it's going to lead to growth and development, abnormalities, and hypothyroidism, which is low in thyroid hormone, will lead to goiter, as you can see from picture. And it also increases the risk of thyroid cancer. And you can find iodine in seaweed, kelp or nori or seafood or dairy product or eggs and the recommendation per day will be 150 micrograms. That's interesting. We also have another webinar video on hyper and hypothyroidism. So if you're interested in learning more about that, you can make sure that you go to our website and look for those videos as well. Sure. And the last problem we are going to discuss is the past unsuccessful experience. Um, we all tried many different ways, but not, we have maybe we're not able to success in every ways. So to make this try successful, it is important to make realistic and stress-free diet plan. It is recommended to lose one to two pounds per week. It's, it is also important to get support from your family and friends. Let them know you are trying to lose weight, trying to stay healthy, and they will be very supportive to you. And you can also get help from health professionals, including your local pharmacy. I'm sure we have a nutrition professional pharmacist at Central Pharmacy. We do. We have a certified nutritionist here, and also we have our entire vitamins team that can help you um, prepare your own plan that's custom made for you and what your lifestyle is like. Uh, so you can always call the pharmacy or send us an email, um, a message online, and we'll help you get there. That's great. And the last important point is believe in yourself that you can make change and you can celebrate your success with your friends and family. And here is a summary for my presentation. Yes, we gain weight as we age, but we can overcome with small changes. You have no energy or no control for appetite. You can change your eating habit to healthy eating habit with small changes, and it can lead to successful story. And if you are too busy, make it simplify your food plan with easy recipes so you can be successful. And if you don't have not enough time for exercise, don't com you cannot complain anymore because you can exercise at home. Mm. And make sure you fill up yourself with good energy and good nutrient, and you get support, which leads to success. And you can find uh, more resources on our website. Um, we have a handout. You can check your progress in three months plan and you can write your own challenges and your own goal so it will be easier to find. Great. We'll have those ready on our website for you to download and use yourself. Okay. And enjoy your summer with um, success. Well, thank you so much, Hyo. And we appreciate you putting this together for us. We appreciate all of you for joining us for this webinar. Thank you. If you're interested in learning more about health and nutrition or how central drugs might be able to help you reach your health goals, you can visit us online at centraldrugsrx.com. There you can sign up for our e-newsletter where you'll get health news and information in your inbox on a regular basis. We never spam you. Uh, you can unsubscribe at any time. You can also find us on Facebook or Twitter, so join our community. And if you have a question that you'd like to ask a pharmacist or a nutritionist here at Central Drugs, give us a call, 877-447-7077. We'd love to talk with you, and we'd love to help you achieve your health goals. Thanks again for joining us on this uh, health webinar, and we hope to see you next time. Thank you.